Let's talk about Spain. The economy has been growing faster than most of its neighbours recently, and that's in great part due to its tourism industry, which contributes around 13% of GDP growth and, uh, once again, is breaking records. But not everyone is happy about the growth of tourism in Spain, which is now seeing a backlash in many parts of the country. Guy Hedgeco reports from Malaga. For more than half a century, a tourism model based on sun and sand has been a driving force for the Spanish economy. And today, it's a main reason why the country's GDP is growing faster than almost all its European neighbours. This year, nearly 100 million foreign visitors are expected. A new record. We have been responsible in the last years of the most important percentage of growth of our economy. In 2023, we were responsible of 80% of the whole GDP growth of Spain because other sectors were not growing, neither at the speed nor at the level of the tourism. But Spain's relationship with tourism seems to be at a tipping point. A backlash has started as the country counts the cost of an industry which has been so lucrative. Popular holiday destinations like the Canary Islands and the Balearics have seen protests by local people, upset at the impact tourism is having on their home environment. The southern city of Malaga staged a similar demonstration. Much of the anger is caused by the high number of apartments used as short-term tourist accommodation. In Malaga, nearly a third of all properties are in this category. The city, it's been developed in a way that the, the prices are going so high that now people who work and live here cannot really afford an apartment. You feel like you are in a theme park, that uh, everything is not really for living there. This discontent has triggered discussion of possible ways of controlling arrivals or even rethinking Spain's tourism model. If we want to really talk about sustainable tourism or a lower number of tourists, we should discuss about limits to the activity and higher um, restrictions and more regulation of the sector, which until now has been like kind of free to act but right now we need to start putting some limits. Malaga is one of several Spanish cities which are planning on introducing restrictions on the granting of licenses for short-term accommodation. But Barcelona is going even further. And in 2028, it plans to revoke the licenses of all of its 10,000 or so tourist apartments. But as Spain's popularity as a tourist destination shows no sign of fading, many are asking whether the country's success is still a good thing. Guy Hedgeco, BBC News, Malaga.